Hello, good afternoon YouTube. Had a few complaints about the music, so I won't be having any music today. But I'm going to look at some ships sinking over the horizon effect through the lens of a container. This is a plastic container, by the way. Now look at this. As the horizon stays at eye level, the ships converge and they disappear behind the lens of the container. I do find this quite fascinating. I haven't seen any other videos on YouTube showing this effect. But we have to remember that although we're not looking through a jug of water as we look across the horizon, the horizon is absolutely full of water droplets. And that's only a couple of inches of, of, of a body of water in a container. You know, what happens over five miles? You know, how many water droplets are you looking through then? You know, what effect is that going to have? It's, it's undoubtedly going to have some sort of effect where the water appears to swallow up the hull of the ship when in fact that's not actually happening. It's just a combination of refraction, vanishing point, convergence, the limitation of human eyesight, and a trick of the light, a trick of perspective. And that's exactly what's happening here. I'm doing it on a much smaller scale with two ships here. You can see the smaller ship disappearing there, the larger ship, you know, you can see the masts. I'm going to take this a step further and I'm going to show you a little mock sun that I put together which is just coming up now in this next clip. And look how the sun can set behind the lens of the, these water droplets which would simulate the, the lens of the atmosphere. It even appears to, to be half a sun. It squashes, you know. The whole round earth argument is like, well, half the sun has disappeared beyond the horizon but I'm making a sun disappear on a flat plane here and you're having the same effect and when I move this jug away you'll see that obviously I'm flat you can see that I'm flat as I move it forward towards the the jug there and the horizon's moving to eye level as I move away there's there's no tricks involved here I'm you know this isn't a joke you can do this yourself at home and um, in a moment I'm going to take away the the flat plastic container and replace it with a glass container that's got a curve on and we're going to see what sort of effect we get from that um, this is undoubtedly showing that, that strange things happen with light before we take it a step further and do it across a lake for example more ships disappearing here. This is so fascinating I've just had to put this together and I want to show people that your your brain can play tricks on you. I don't think ships disappear beyond a curve. I think it's a trick of the light. It's a trick of perspective. This shows that. This shows that clearly. Anybody can do it at home. You know, argue with this. Argue with this. I've shown you that stuff can disappear below a horizon that you've made at home in your kitchen and yet these ball earthers are still going to tell me that ships are sinking over the horizon well, what do they know what does anybody know look, look what's happening here the sun's disappearing on a flat plane it's disappearing through the lens of the container which is the similar to the lens of the atmosphere I'm repeating myself now but this is fascinating stuff I'm going to be moving my next experiment onto shadows where we look at the way shadows behave on a flat plane and then compare that to how they be behave on a ball earth because I've got a sneaky suspicion that if you're up against a wall and the sun's setting the shadow of the surface should rise up but we don't see that on a planet we don't see that Here comes the sun.
comes the sun Here comes the sun It's all It's been a long, cold, lonely winter Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here Here comes the sun Here comes the sun I say it's all Sun, I say it's all.